Hey guys, today we are talking about the equal powers property. And we can actually use this to solve equations that involve exponents. Let me show you an example. If I have x to the 4y power, and I tell you that is equal to x to the 12th power, notice that our bases are the same. Okay? So if you have the same base, that means that our exponents are also equal to each other. So that means that 4y is equal to 12. And we can divide both sides by 4. And y equals 3. That's because if we have a base b to the x power, and that is equal to a base b to the y power, we know that x is also equal to y. And this is called the equal powers property. There are some conditions. b must be greater than 0, and b cannot equal 1. As long as it satisfies those conditions, this property always works. So let's try some. If I have 4 to the second power, and that is equal to 4 to the 9x minus 5 power, well, notice our bases are the same. So that means that 2 is equal to 9x minus 5. Well, I just solved this algebraically, so I will undo my subtraction by adding 5 on both sides. That cancels. I'm left with 7 equals 9x. Now I will divide both sides by 9. Those cancel. So x equals 7 ninths. Well, here I have 2 raised to the 3x power equals 4 raised to the x plus 1 power. Well, quickly I notice that I do not have the same bases. But what I do know is that 4 is 2 to the second power. So I can rewrite this as 2 to the 3x power equals 2 to the second power raised to the x plus 1 power. And what I know about exponents is I can multiply this 2 by this entire expression. So I get 2 to the 3x is equal to 2 to the 2x plus 2. Because I did distributive property on this 2 here to this entire expression. Well, now our bases are the same. So I know that 3x is equal to 2x plus 2. So I'll subtract 2x here, subtract 2x here, those cancel. 3x minus 2x is 1x, or just x, and I'll bring down my positive 2, so x is equal to 2. And that's how you use the equal powers property to solve equations.